What's going on guys? My name is Bear Witness and today I have a new video and this one's going to get kind of mixed feelings and mixed reactions based on it. Now, here's the thing. I want to go over the good, the bad, and the ugly of Ghost Recon Wildlands PvP mode Ghost War. Now, I was very excited about this game and I have been for a while. But after playing it for extensive hours, I realized that it was not the game for me. And I cannot stress the fact that I'm saying for me enough. Now, I really did enjoy the game when I first started playing it. But after a while, I noticed that it seemed very unfair. Now, when you're, when, like, skill based matchmaking is not necessarily something you always want. But in game modes like this, where the more you play, the better weapons you get and the better abilities you get and you get these perks and you get these things that kind of stack on to each character you have these situations where people are severely overpowered and then you have people that just come into the game that are actually significantly underpowered that not to mention there is a lot of ways to pay and if you're not one of the people that want to pay to get these characters so you can win the game, then there's not a very good place. Now, there are beginner characters for you to work with, but like I said, since there is no real skill-based matchmaking to where you're playing against opponents of your skill level to grow, a lot of the games consist of you getting dog-smacked. And in those situations, you're either playing against people that have a you know more experience or you're playing with players on your team whereas you know you're playing as you know players that you want that you're getting in the beginner section so sometimes you don't even have players that can provide intel and so you think that you you want to play as a cohesive unit but in any video game you have players that kind of just do what they want and it's not necessarily team based so you either have to play this game with a team which at this point Nine times out of ten, you're going to either have to find people or you're not. So, like, or, or, or you're not going to have anybody. Like, Kurt, personally, I don't have any friends that really play this game. That being said, you're like, oh, hey, go out and make some new friends to play this game with. But it's hard to do that because a lot of players don't want to play with players that are under-leveled or just starting out because they want to go for wins. Now, I recently became a high enough level to play ranked play and that seems so unapproachable to the point where I think that I have to prestige like five times before I should even be able to go into that based on the fact that I don't have a lot of weapons that other people have based on the fact that I don't have like the prestige tokens that a lot of people have so you can unlock the weapons or the character types and it provides this sense of overwhelming so that's why I personally am steering away from the game. It is nothing to take away from the game itself. The game is very fun, and if you are willing to spend money on it, it can be very, very, very fun. But personally, I'm not going to spend money on it. I don't really feel like it's my cup of tea at the current moment. I like the way the game is set up, but I feel like I would be more at home in a game like Ghost Recon, no, I mean not Ghost Recon, sorry, Rainbow Six Siege. So that's my, uh, that's my kind of, I guess, review of the game after a couple of extensive hours playing the game. And I, I just, like I said, guys, I, if you guys want me to keep playing it, I could, I could keep trying, but at the current moment and at the current future, I have other ideas for series that I'm probably going to put into play. And, I hope you guys enjoy this too. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys leave a like like always. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I'll see you guys next time.